the demand for housing in urban areas in Kenya for the last few years has been an average of 200,000 houses per year. For two good reasons. Number one, because of rural urban immigration, which is at the rate of 4%. Number two, there are many children who have been born in Nairobi and now they are now mature. And because now they are mature, they have to move from their own father's houses to go to their own houses. That's why the demand is already more than 200,000 per year. Unfortunately, all the stakeholders on individual level, the government level, even on natural, we are only putting 50,000 houses per year. So the demand is 200, we are putting 50. The demand is four, we are putting one. That is the reason why slums have started now picking up in Nairobi area. And unless this matter is contained, we end up having slums in every county headquarter. So to avoid that, that's how Uhuru came up with affordable housing. And he came up with a program that he, he purposed to put 500,000 houses in the next five years. Our government is doing extremely nice and especially on matters regarding affordable housing. If you would want to know how those matters are going, and I want to tell you today, what government is doing, you may try to look at the government doing a house. The government is not doing the house. It's enabling Kenyans to have a house. All those laws that are happening today is an enabler. This project, I'm telling you, we could not have, we could not have even, even, even be talking about what you're talking about today without this road, without this water, without the sewer, without this electricity passing out. That's what the government is doing for us. And I'm, I want to encourage any other Kenyan that is there. Let us also try to support our government, especially during this trying time of COVID. The government itself does not have enough resources like we used to have before. We passed a, a, a budget of three trillion, but KRA can tell you for free that the amount of money we have received is not even more than 70% of their, of their target. Because it is not, they are not working, they are working very hard, but Kenyans are still struggling. So I want to encourage each and every Kenyan that is there. Let us try to help our government as, as much as possible. Try to push, try to push the project, try to welcome investors that we have. Let's invest in Kenya. Let's not go invest outside the, out of this country. Let's invest in Kenya. Kenya is our home.